This video demonstrates how to create vendors and customers one at a time in the Scara ERP. Another way to create them is to batch import multiple vendors and customers from an Excel or CSV file, but that's discussed in another video. You need to be logged in with an administrator account. On the main dashboard, click Create Vendor or Create Customer and their respective data entry tabs will open where you can straight away key in the vendor or customer's details. An alternate way to navigate to these data entry tabs is by going through the vendor master or customer master like this. Notice that the options for creating a vendor are practically the same as the options for creating a customer. So for the rest of this video, I will mainly focus on the Create Vendor tab because if you understand how to create a vendor, you will understand how to create a customer. Also notice that the Create Vendor tab has a checkbox option which lets you create the vendor as a customer and vice versa on the Create Customer tab. You will enable the checkbox if the party whom you are trying to create is both your vendor and your customer. Now let's fill up the form fields with information about our vendor. Mandatory fields are marked by an asterisk. The other non-mandatory fields are still useful in capturing certain important vendor information. If that's not enough, you can always add more custom fields of your own if you need to capture even more types of information. Any custom fields that you define will appear in these sections called Other Fields and Dimensions. First and foremost, you must give the vendor a vendor code. The system can auto-generate the vendor code based on a predefined sequence format which you select here. If you don't have an existing sequence format, or if you just don't want to use one, then choose Not Applicable, and then you will have to manually key in your own vendor code. While you are doing so, existing similarly named vendor codes will appear here to help you maintain naming conventions and avoid keying in a duplicate code. Next, key in the name of your vendor here. Existing vendor names will appear to help you avoid creating duplicate vendors. Optionally, you can also give the vendor a secondary alias name. Select the accounts which transactions made with this vendor will be credited to. Trade Creditors is selected by default when creating vendors, and Trade Debtors is selected by default when creating customers. The Opening Balance field shows the sum of all outstanding payments that you owe to the vendor prior to using the Scara ERP for creating vendor transactions. Similarly, when creating a customer, the Opening Balance field shows the sum of the customer's outstanding payments. Right now it's at zero, and you can't edit it, but it will automatically update itself after you create this vendor and import his opening transactions. The Vendor's Creation Date field should be set to any date before your first transaction with the vendor. And if you've been in business with this vendor prior to adopting the Scara ERP, then it can be set to any date on or before your book beginning date. Select the default currency which the vendor normally uses. You can always change the currency as and when you create transactions with this vendor. If this vendor is a sub-vendor to one of your existing vendors, then you can define their vertical relationship by ticking Is Sub-Vendor and then map it to its parent vendor. This is optional because it's purely for organizational purposes and will not affect accounting behavior. Next, if your company uses price list bands, you can assign your vendor or customer to one of the price list bands. This is helpful for maintaining reasonable pricing margins on a per-vendor or per-customer basis. Under Vendor UEN, you may specify the vendor's company registration number. If you tick Vendor Available only to agents, then only certain purchasing agents of your choice can handle transactions with this vendor. Similarly, when creating a customer, you can assign specific sales agents to exclusively handle the customer. Agents must be one of your users in the Discara system. You can assign one or more agents to the vendor by selecting them from this drop-down list of agents. If your desired user isn't an agent yet, click the green plus icon to make him one so that he appears in the list. 
select your desired user and key in his contact details relevant to his role as an agent. For example, this user's name is Steven and my company typically contacts him by his office phone. But my vendors know him as Steve and prefer to contact him by his mobile phone, so that would be his agent contact details. If you assign multiple purchasing agents to the vendor, here you specify which one of them gets selected by default for every new transaction with this vendor. The same applies for sales agents in the Create Customer tab. Key in the vendor's GST number here and his bank account number here. Under Debit Term, specify the maximum number of days which payments to the vendor can remain outstanding. The system is able to alert your users when this threshold is reached. You can organize this vendor into a vendor category. You can then define your own categories to represent anything you want such as the vendor's location, industry type, or even his reputation. Categories make it easier to find your vendors or their transactions. When creating customers, there's a similar option called Customer Category. To create a new category or modify existing ones, go to the left menu, expand Masters, click Master Configuration, search for the word Category, click Vendor Category or Customer Category, and edit your custom fields and dimensions from there. Next, if the vendor always taxes you a certain amount for every transaction, you should select that amount under the Tax field. This is so that whenever your users create a vendor invoice involving this vendor, the tax amount gets selected by default, but they can always change it on the spot. You must enter a value for Credit Purchase Limit. This protects you from accumulating too much total outstanding credit purchase liabilities from this vendor. Your users will be prevented from creating any new credit purchase that will cause this credit purchase limit to be exceeded. Under Preferred Products, you select products that are most frequently bought from the vendor so that when your users create purchase transactions with the vendor, the preferred products are automatically listed, which is a real time saver. On top of that, for every preferred product, you can click Set Custom Field or Dimension to specify frequently used item level details that go along with your purchases so that your users don't have to do so every time they make purchases. Meanwhile, on the side of creating customers, you have the similar option of specifying the customer's preferred products and specifications for each product. Under Payment Criteria, you can choose the ordering of invoice payments. Choosing first in first out means the earliest created invoice gets paid for first, and choosing last in first out means the latest invoice gets paid for first. If this vendor also happens to be one of your customers, then tick the Create as Customer checkbox and assign him a customer code and debit account. Next, head over to the Vendor Contact Detail tab. Similarly, when creating a customer, you would head over to the Customer Contact Details tab. Here you must specify the billing addresses and shipping addresses. And that's it. Last but not least, you need to click the Save buttons for the Create Vendor tab and for the Vendor Contact Detail tab. We have successfully created our vendor. Now whenever we make a purchase order, we can select this vendor from our list of all other vendors in Descara ERP. That's all and thanks for watching.